Welcome to Muslim Apologetics. Watch this humiliation against the ex-Muslims. This is Daniel Hakikato taking on the ex-Muslims. Look at these specific questions which they can't answer. You know how the question always arises, Islam was spread by the force and Islam forces Sharia onto the rest of humanity? Listen how in this debate between Daniel Hakikato and Harris Sultan, uh, Apus, who is apostate prophet, he comes in and asks a question to Daniel Hakikato regarding, you know, Islam spreading by the force and so forth. And watch how Daniel refutes this by showing how Westernism spreads by force. Let's take a listen. This one coming in from, do appreciate your question. Apostate prophet says, should Islam be enforced upon the disbelievers? Yeah, Islam. Wait, you said apostate prophet, apos? That's it's apostate prophet. Uh, okay, I don't know apos, what the other word means, but uh, apos. We discussed this in our debate. Go and rewatch the tape. I we talked about universalism. Liberalism is a universalist ideology. It believes in imposing human rights and this kind of LGBT rights uh, extremism on the entire planet, and it does through. That through colonialism, through occupation, through sanctions, forced famine. That is the universalism of liberalism and human rights being imposed on the entire globe. Islam is also universalist. It also believes that Islam should spread. And I've talked about this in our debate. People can go back and watch that, which you acknowledge you lost that. So, you know, yeah, Islam is universalist. So what? All of these other idea uh, belief systems including human rights liberalism are universalist as well and they employ coercion in the same way that islam has coercion but islam let's is the, the truth let's all right so let's listen where sultan harris gets completely destroyed here um but i'm saying that there are some problems and we know that these problems exist no, but so, the main problem uh, is that you can't spread these values without total war no, that's the, that's no, the whole point. No. So you Daniel, have to say to... that that's necessary and that's, no, that's Daniel, justified. How are no. you going to how are you going to get the Afghan I'll, people I'll, in I'll Afghanistan to, to follow I'll, I'll... human rights? You're complaining constantly well, about Afghanistan. So how are those people going to accept human rights and democracy as you propose? I mean, the, the answer from the U.S. state is clear. They invaded and occupied for 20 years, brutal occupation. And now, even after they're gone, you have uh, Anthony Blinken, the Secretary of State, saying we're going to agitate and we're going to pressure Afghanistan to start accepting LGBT rights and women's rights. And if they don't comply, we're going to you know, put, put the pressure on them. So this is all force, and it leads to suffering. You stand by all that or no? Answer. Well, no, I'll answer that to you, but... Uh, yes or no? If you, you stand me, by it or no? If you, yes if or no? you answer me, if you... It, it, no, it's more complicated than that. Oh, but okay. if you answer that, do you support <laughs> Taliban or not? You said brutal... You said brutal... So did you hear that part? Daniel asked him a simple question. Do you stand by it? Yes or no? Answer the question. I mean, isn't it forced that the West is coming into Afghanistan and forcing Westernism into those people? Answer the question, yes or no. What does Sultan say? It's more complicated than that. Listen again. If they don't comply, we're going to you know, put, put the pressure on them. So this is all force, and it leads to suffering. You stand by all that or no? Answer. I'll, no, I'll answer that to you. But, uh, yes or no? You, you stand me, by it or no? If you, yes or if no? you answer me. If you, it, it, no, it's more complicated than that. Oh, but okay. if you answer that, do you support... So he doesn't answer it, notice. He does, and he doesn't go to the debate. He does not answer it. Yes or no? He believes in human rights. But when it comes to Westernism being forced into Afghanistan, uh, you know, um, you know, bombed, killed, and Westernism forced into Afghanistan, uh, we can't really answer yes or no. You know, it's more complicated than that. <laughs> you got exposed. You and you claim to support human rights and freedom and expression, and yet. You can't say it was wrong to force Westernism into Afghanistan. It's more complicated. Ah, oh. but Islam spreading by the force. Ah, oh, that that's that's yeah, that's completely wrong. Completely wrong. It's not a complicated. It's completely wrong. What a hypocrite you are, Harris.